Well, who knew you could get a total body workout with a gigantic rubber band? It's true. And here with more information on how you can increase your strength with a simple rubber band is fitness coach Heather Dowdy. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, so these really aren't rubber bands. Well, they? right. They're they resistance bands. They kind well, of are. They're very know, stretchy. They're yeah. rubber. Resistance bands, what we call them. Okay. All right. It's all about got resistance. Three I've got three different ones. Here. This is the neat thing about these. Uh, they come in different resistance levels. So just like weights, you can get 30 pounds, 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 80 pounds, 100 pounds, okay, whatever. Okay, so what are we looking so, at So this is, this is a this 70. Is this is a 70 pounder. That's going to be more thicker. resistance. So, so that's, yep. that's for me or... Guys, oh, yeah, well, right? You, <laughs> I'm kidding. You want to take it, actually. You're stronger <laughs> totally than true. me. Totally and then true. this is a 30 pound. I'll this stick this with is it. A, this is a 50 pound. Okay, here. yeah. Okay. Thank you for So here's the cool one. thing about these. This is what I really like about them. E number one, easy to travel with, right? Oh, yeah. Keep your fitness on the go, right? Um, number two, they're they're inexpensive. So if you're just starting out, working out at home, I was going to say, I've seen them at the gym, money. but you can buy them and use yeah, them at home. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I've seen them at the gym all the time. And you don't use them. Okay, so let's let's do a few a few different uh, body moves. So you, yes. can get, you can do total body with these things. Okay. okay. So let's do let's do like shoulders. So you're going to put one foot in and step through. Okay. And then you're going to bring them up behind you. Oh. I know, right? Here we go. <laughs> so here's a shoulder a shoulder move. Ready? Shoulder press. Wait. Oh, God. Yeah, right? <laughs> Golly, yeah. I should have given you the green one. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. I'm glad you have the green one. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so there's their shoulders, right? Move on down the arm. We can do biceps. So here's here's another cool thing. If you let's say you buy two of these, you buy the 30 and the 50 pound, okay? Yeah. And you work your way up through the 30. You go to the 50, and then the 50 is not enough. But you don't have the extra cash this paycheck to buy the 70 or 80 pounder. So what do you do? So instead of one foot in, you put two feet in. Okay. And if it's still not enough, you spread the peat a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. So so we get more resistance. There's your bicep move, right? <gasps> Yeah, do you feel flex, strong? Flex, flex, flex. Here's another cool thing. Here's another cool thing. Each, you know, music to <laughs> some biceps, some uh, some muscles have two heads to the muscle, like bicep. Tricep has three. Show us because you right? actually I have know. a bicep so, that we so, can see. So you can work this two ways, right? You can you can curl forward, and you can curl out. Okay. So you got two so bicep curls. Or <laughs> yeah. So so what I do is I tell people to imagine they're between two pl panes of glass. So keep those hands to your side. So you work another head of the bicep. <laughs> Are you right? This? Yeah. I have a lighter band. I'm not struggling at all. Wow. Here's, here's one. Okay, so every so this is what I hear from a lot of ladies. They want they want to do chest, but they can't do push-ups. Okay, push-ups are too hard. So here's another great thing with these bands. You wrap this behind you, and you pull. You want to bring your hands pretty close to your shoulders, and grab the band where it's taut, but it's not real tight. So it's not pulling on you back. Yeah. Okay. So this is this would be in uh, this would be in relationship to doing a push-up. So this is very similar. So you're gonna get the chest workout from this if you can't don't have the upper body strength yet to do push-ups okay. they're still the best chest move okay but here we go so we push out whoa so okay. you feel that in the yeah. chest so same with like regular push-ups you can do them where your elbows are close in you can widen the arms so they'd be like wide fly push-ups <laughs> oh, I feel like it's gonna wow, roll off there's that me. one. Whoa. See? So, so that's another thing. Like you just said, Heather, you said it, it felt like it's gonna roll yeah. back. So that means you gotta you gotta add the control into it. So maybe you're not close enough on your band. Probably not. And control is important with these bands too. I mean Absolutely. you're not trying to do like snap movements. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's very easy. controlled movement. So it's all about the resistance. And here's and you get positive resistance and you get negative resistance. So there's two Which ways. What do we want? You want both. Oh. That's the nice thing. So like in that bicep move, like when we go back down here to this bicep move, mm -hmm. so we've got this positive resistance here where we're curling up. And then we if we go back down slow, that's that negative resistance. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> Why do we have to have the cooking segment on the I same day as the workout? <laughs> We it's plan it that way, way right? Yeah. Exactly. This is really good, though. Yeah, Definitely absolutely. something worth trying out. Great. Heather, thank yes. you so much. Oh. Good stuff. If you want to check out more on Wednesday's workout, more fitness tips from Heather, you can connect to her via our website at CILiving.tv. All right, coming up, we're going to take another look at today's CI Sing-Off performance. And who's going to win that fantastic basket from the Flesser's Candy Kitchen? Muscles here or you? We'll find out when we come back.